All right, so maybe I was a little bit too hasty posting the first look at Jinro with the spoilers. So this is going to be a quick first look at Jinro without the spoilers. So let's look at the cover real quick. First of all, it says Jinro, the title, and below that it says the Wolf Brigade. And immediately when you think of a wolf, you can either your mind either goes to Lone Wolf or a member of the pack. So there's something to think about. The main character, Fusei, pictured in the front. Is he a lone wolf or a member of the pack? Um, is he a wolf in human skin? Or is he a human in wolf skin? Yada, 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 you know. You'll get to experience that struggle after you watch this film. So, the main um, uh, conflict of this film besides whether or not to be a lone wolf or a member of the pack or a wolf in human skin is um, if you can live with shackles on on your life can you overcome the burden that society places on you or not and I'm just gonna say it don't go watching this movie if you want to be happy it is a very depressing movie. I showed it to my older sister. She was sad. And even me, it stuck with me for quite a long time. It's because it's a very upsetting movie. But it's upsetting to me in a good way. Like, it's a tragic romance. Mixed in with some action. That being said, the action is few and far between. But the action scenes that are present hit and they hit very hard this movie has no sexual content no language but it does have some of the most violent um, scenes in anime or animated films that i have ever seen so if you can handle violence then you can um, watch this movie no problem and i do recommend you see it because i believe the filmmakers um, as you can see from the creators of Ghost in the Shell. I saw Ghost in the Shell after Jinro. And that's one of my favorite anime films of all time. The director, Mamoru Oshii, he wrote Jinro. And his understudy, Hiroyuki Okira, directed this, directed this film. So what you get is basically a Mamoru, Mamoru Oshii hybrid. And many people consider that man a genius. <laughs> uh, I'm not... I haven't seen enough of his work to consider him a genius yet, but I'm a huge fan of Ghost in the Shell, and I'm a huge fan of Jinro. Um, it will be a confusing watch, and don't worry about all the political jargon that they throw around, um, and they will throw it around, especially in, in between the film. What you get is a lot of talking, a lot of good music, and just a lot of scenery going by which is okay with me. It's totally okay. Everything has a purpose, minus the political jargon. But let me help you out with that. You mostly need to understand that there are three groups of people. One, the sect, which is considered the terrorist group. Two, the military police. And three, the Kerberos uh, Wolf Brigade. Uh, they work with the police as their armored division, basically a beefed up police force and we have I'd say two main characters one Fusei and the other the girl and you'll know what I mean <laughs> after you watch this movie uh, I hope you're well versed in the story of the little red riding hood if not just go to spark notes and get yourself a refresher because they reference that um, story throughout the whole film and it's a little bit heavy uh heavy fisted but um i think i think it works you just if it annoys you i don't know what to say it can be annoying but just try to go along with the ride um so yeah that's that's uh what you need to know before watching Jinro. if you like action if you like to think if you like a dark broody atmosphere excellent animation and something a little bit out of the ordinary something sad if you want to be sad maybe a little bit narcissistic on the side um yeah watch 
uh, Jinro. Uh, 